Hey, what's going on folks? It's Mario with Beyond Fitness and a lot of people always talk about you need volume in your foods, you need to eat more food, or not more foods, but more voluminous foods when you're dieting. And while this could be held to bulking, um, for the main purposes of this video, it's going to be uh, aimed towards dieters. And um, what we tend to find in the if it fits your macros, flexible dieting community are two extremes. One where a person will eat a large amount of voluminous foods very quote-unquote healthy and the other being the guy who just recently found out about if it fits your macros now all he eats is ice cream pop tarts kids cereals and all that stuff so I'm gonna give you guys a very generic example of what I mean by shooting for more voluminous foods and here we go alright so for those that are dieting I'm gonna show you first the voluminous foods I have here my three examples so for these two let's just say that you wanna enjoy your quote unquote protein protein and carb meal for this entire container of chicken breast and actually this carving board brand by the way tastes really good so you don't have to worry about that the entire container goes for four grams of fat zero oh, zero grams of carbs excuse me and 52 grams of protein I messed that up and um, for the two small apples 0.4 grams of fat, 0.6 grams of protein, 30 grams of carbs, and I promise you this is going to be way more fulfilling than three packs of M&Ms. So I did a combined total here for the, um, the if it fits your macros person that would probably go along with something like this. M&Ms and whey total, so there's two scoops of whey and the M&Ms combined, so this would be a total of 13 grams of fat, 50 grams of protein, and 38 grams of carbs. So if you're dieting and you know that calories aren't restricted, are you really going to shoot for the M&Ms? I mean, this is where, you know, the voluminous foods come in. So obviously myself, I'd rather much have an entire package of chicken breast. Crap, I could even put it on a pan and season it and actually grill it and do all sorts of things. And it's not so much the food that tastes like crap. It's honestly, I believe the way that people prepare it that makes it taste like crap. Because uh, if you've ever had seasoned tilapia, seasoned chicken, seasoned anything, or just where it's cooked great, it tastes amazing. So, just showing you guys an example of voluminous foods. And don't forget to check out the Beyond Fitness page. Like my shit. All that. Stay safe. And shout out to Matt Roski for um, his protein powder that he actually has on sale right now at his gym. So I don't know if he ships anywhere, but for a 2.2 pound container, so this big tub, um, it's $15, which is a fucking steal. So in that sense, unless Vitamin Shop doesn't send me money, I'm not buying shit. Again, thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. Thank you guys. Stay safe.